Good afternoon, everybody. I want to take this opportunity to update the American people about the situation in Libya. Over the last several weeks, the world has watched events unfold in Libya with hope and alarm. Last month, protesters took to the streets across the country to demand their universal rights and a government that is accountable to them and responsive to their aspirations. But they were met with an iron fist. Within days, whole parts of the country declared their independence from the brutal regime, and members of the government serving in Libya and abroad chose to align themselves with the forces of change. Muammar Gaddafi clearly lost the confidence of his own people and the legitimacy to lead. Instead of respecting the rights of his own people, Gaddafi chose the path of brutal suppression. Innocent civilians were beaten, imprisoned, and in some cases killed. Peaceful protests were forcefully put down. Hospitals were attacked, and patients disappeared. A campaign of intimidation and repression began. In the face of this injustice, the United States and the international community moved swiftly. Sanctions were put in place by the United States and our allies and partners. The UN Security Council imposed further sanctions, an arms embargo, and the specter of international accountability for Gaddafi and those around him. Humanitarian assistance was positioned on Libya's borders, and those displaced by the violence received our help. Ample warning was given that Gaddafi needed to stop his campaign of repression or be held accountable. The Arab League and the European Union joined us in calling for an end to violence. Once again, Gaddafi chose to ignore the will of his people and the international community. Left unchecked, we have every reason to believe that Gaddafi would commit atrocities against his people. Many thousands could die. A humanitarian crisis would ensue. The entire region could be destabilized, endangering many of our allies and partners. The calls of the Libyan people for help would go unanswered. The democratic values that we stand for would be overrun. Moreover, the words of the international community would be rendered hollow. That's why the United States has worked with our allies and partners to shape a strong international response at the United Nations. Our focus has been clear, protecting innocent civilians within Libya and holding the Gaddafi regime accountable. Yesterday, in response to a call for action by the Libyan people and the Arab League, the UN Security Council passed a strong resolution that demands an end to the violence against citizens. It authorizes the use of force with an explicit commitment to pursue all necessary measures to stop the killing. So, I mean, that is the land of unconfirmed. We came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, I'm, I'm sure it did. Money, it's a crime. Share.